us this entire split within Lalu's party uh, leave the whole equation now of what we saw yesterday? I think we need to understand, Vivek, that Lalu is virtually out of the reckoning. He, he is, is a colleague. Yeah, and he's desperate now to resurrect himself. The fodder scam in which he got convicted and went to jail forbids him to contest an election to the Lok Sabha or to the legislature. So he's really down in the dumps. But with the with, with a section of his uh, MLAs, he had a total of uh, 23 MLAs, out of which 13 split from him yesterday and six have come back. So there is still a group of seven who have decided to go uh, with RJD. And the chief minister, Mr. Nitish Kumar, it is very significant for him that this number has come. And he and according to the spokesman of these seven who have gone to the JDU, uh, they have said that some more will be joining the JDU very shortly. Uh, this will help Nitish Kumar, who is running a minority government right now. He has only 115 seats out of 243 assembly. Earlier they had 91 of the uh, of the uh, BJP, so they were very comfortable with 206 seats out of 234. Now, for a simple majority, he requires a little more. So these will add up and give him that simple majority. So but that is in, how in, the situation. In the Lok Sabha elections, uh, how does this yesterday's development shift the goalpost? Does it now become more of a two-horse race, according to you? Nitish and Modi? Well, essentially, no. You know, uh, Nitish Kumar is not as popular as he was, let's say, a year ago. Ever since he broke ranks with the NDA uh, in July of last year, I think he has been facing problems within his party and in the state as well. Let's also not forget that after that incident, he had two major issues to deal with. One was the 23 children who died after consuming a midday meal. Mm. The second was the attack at Bodh Gaya, you know, the serial blast That's that right. happened. Unfortunately, it was not very, uh, very critical in that sense. Thereafter, he's been facing a spate of Naxalite attacks. The law and order, which seemed to be under control in Bihar, has, a, has again gone very bad. You know, their murder, their loot, and other things taking place. So I think he needs to perk up, gear up his own house in order to really go ahead with these assembly elections. We must. Other important thing, Vivek, is also that three people are not contesting this election for sure, as we know. Nitish Kumar, because he has interest in Bihar. The other person, Mr. Sushil Kumar Modi, who, who supported Mr. Nitish Kumar initially. And the third person is Mr. Lalu, who wants to contest but can't contest because of compulsions mm -hmm. of law if you are convicted and sent to jail. So overall, so are, I you, are you saying that yesterday's split could probably help Nitish only come up from a very low position already? Lalu is already pretty much out of the reckoning. So to that extent, it's about Nitish trying to resurrect himself in some way? Absolutely. That, that's the way you would sum yeah. up. Uh, because he is looking at a perspective in 2015 when assembly elections are due mm -hmm. again in Bihar. So since he's not aiming for the center in any way. He wants to ensure that at least the JDU keeps itself together, boosts its numbers as of now, and is prepared and prepare for the 2015 assembly elections.